What's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a quick review on the mirror dash cam that I've been using for over a year now. I have a 2002 Lexus IS300, which I absolutely love. I actually wouldn't even trade this for a newer car, but being how old this is, it doesn't have a backup camera, doesn't have dash cam, all that stuff. So I wanted to get a dash cam for my car. I went with this 12 inch Acaso DL12. I'm not really going to be going in specifics about like features and stuff like that, but this is mainly going to be my general thoughts on it and my experience with it after having it for more than a year, maybe a year and a half, around there. So first of all, setting this up was actually really, really easy. Uh, you don't have to do any kind of removing, you know, drilling, screwing and unscrewing things. All this is going to do is strap over your existing mirror. So it's going to come with two straps and it's going to strap over your existing mirror. And then it's just going to stay in place just like that. It's actually really, really snug and pretty secure. And then the dash cam is actually on the side. And what that's going to do is that you have to slide it out. So then the camera won't be blocked by the existing mirror because otherwise it won't be able to see anything. So once that's all done, you have a power cable, the backup cable, which hooks up to the backup camera. And you also have a GPS along with the cable for that. But for me, I just didn't even use that. I just didn't even bother setting it up. I mainly just hooked up the backup camera. But for me, this is going to be a backup dash cam. I actually have a separate backup camera installed um, for specifically for backing up and stuff like that. So all I did was hook up the wires along the panels of my car. One wire going down, down the front where the driver is and hooking up to the, the 12 volt socket, I think, on the front. And then the other cable is actually going wrapped around all the way to the back of the car, still inside the panels, trying to keep everything nice. And it's hooked up to the back dash camera which I stickied on the back glass. Now you can hook this up to outside of your vehicle if you wanted to and have this as an actual backup camera, but I just have this as a back dash cam. It comes with like a sticky kind of thing, like a 3M tape, double-sided tape, and I just stuck that on the rear windshield. Uh, with all that said, this took about 30 minutes for me to do and install and this was all during the nighttime too. So I was really only doing it with one hand while my other hand was holding a flashlight. So, and I still managed to do it in about 30 minutes. So overall installation was very, very simple. So operating this thing is also very straightforward. You just have a digital screen and you can also change your settings and things like that. Um, you know, I haven't really messed too much with anything except Primary things like setting the time. This uses a micro SD card, so you have to format that uh, when you first use it. So I use that feature, of course. Um, and just, yeah, basic stuff like you can adjust the sound if it records audio or not. You can adjust uh, the parking sensor. So in case, I think it's like a parking guard or something. So if your car is parked and it detects some kind of collision, it will automatically record. And how that works is this camera actually has a battery built into it, but don't expect it to be that good because this battery is actually pretty bad when you run it off battery power. It will probably last for about like two to five minutes tops. Most of the time it's just going to be operated while the car is on, but I guess it has that feature of having a battery in case it needs to record something when the car's off. But I wouldn't count on it because the battery dies really, really fast. But yeah, overall, driving with it has been very, very good, actually. Um, I actually rely on this to help me change lanes and things because this thing actually provides a better view of the back and it allows me to see my blind spots easier. So I cl very clearly know when to change lanes and stuff like that. Obviously, I don't just rely on this camera. I still use the side mirrors, but that 
digital camera also helps in seeing your blind spot to see if there's any cars in that area. Some of the cons though are that the brightness is not that bright. So during the daytime, you're going to find it very, very difficult to see the camera or what's being displayed. And um, you're also just going to see a bunch of glare. So a lot of times you're not going to see what's being displayed on the screen. You're actually just going to be looking at the reflection almost like it's just a regular mirror. It's kind of like a two in one. Like if you don't really want to look at the screen, you can just focus on the actual reflection and it works just as a regular mirror. Um, also, another problem is during the night, you can't really see what's behind you because the headlights from a vehicle behind you would be too bright and it's gonna shine directly into the uh, camera. But yeah, that's basically all the cons I can think of. Uh, but overall, I really, really like this thing. And this thing actually saved me from a hit and run uh, vehicle damage repair so i was on the highway going straight and this kind of like a utility pickup truck like a subcontractor or something is right beside me he doesn't see me or he does see me and he decides to swerve anyway so basically he swerves into my lane he hits me and then he drives off he does not stop this camera actually saved me because i Gave this as video evidence to the claims and all that stuff. And he paid for, or his insurance paid for the damage done to my vehicle, which was like over $2,000 for the scratched paint and the dent right above my left rear wheel arch. So this camera saved me over $2,000. So I really, really love having a dash cam just to see everything that's on the road. Um, and this is also, this reminds me because um, this is another con I would say, is even though the picture is very clear, it's not really clear enough to see the license plate of the cars in front of you. How I ended up catching that guy was when I was behind him, I read out loud his license plate so uh, my audio on the dash cam would hear it uh, because otherwise you can't really see the guy's plate. Yeah, so that's my review on the Acaso DL12. A really, really great dash cam. I use it every day, obviously. And yeah, you might have to get used to using it at first, kind of like my friend who also has the same camera. Um, but now that we're both used to it, we just drive with it all the time. And it's very easy to see out of the back. And yeah, it even just helps me with driving in general because I get to see a little bit of, it's kind of like looking at like a wide lens of the back of your car. So, so yeah, that's it. Um, that's my review of this dash cam. Even if you're not getting a dash cam like this, I highly suggest everyone get a dash cam in general because I feel like that's essential nowadays to always have a record of what goes on on the road. So yeah thanks for watching this video guys uh and i will see you guys in the next video